Obviously. Oh, I, I, I'm Barry, and this is January 16th, 2019, and this is my first vlog using a smartphone, which I've never had a smartphone before. In fact, I thought I would be the last person on Earth without a smartphone because I didn't like how everyone is just staring at their hand. In fact, I wrote an entire book in which very much that was the premise. Which most people haven't read the book because I haven't told them about it because it's very profane. And, and I, I'm not usually profane in my professional public speaking, but sometimes in my prose, I, 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 I vent in, in a way that's more of an adult content. But I don't, I think it would affect my brand if, if people were to read that book. So, but it was very, um, it, it was cathartic. I want to talk about that I had a job, which I don't usually have a job because I'm a professional public speaker and I usually just do my own speaking. But sometimes people say, oh, that's a good speaker and we should have him speak for us and we'll pay him a lot of money. And I'll do it. But so I had this job. And I came to a meeting. I was going to have a meeting with my manager, director guy, which that's very exciting to me because I, usually I work alone, but when I have a chance to collaborate, I like that too. And so, but the first question that he asked in the meeting when I wasn't ready for this is he looked at me and he was very earnest and he said, Barry, how do you feel that you're fitting in with company culture? And it took me a minute. And I thought around, like my thoughts went like that. And then I realized, I had an aha. I realized, this motherfucker is going to fire me. Pardon my French. That's not a question you ask somebody that you're planning on keeping around. And I, it, really, it really took me a minute because it wasn't very direct. In fact, on, upon reflection, I think it was the most passive-aggressive question anyone has ever asked me. And I've been around some passive-aggressive people. Because I don't... Why, why wouldn't he just say, Barry, we've been talking. And we don't like you very much. And we'd be happier if you weren't here. If he said that, I would go, oh, thank you. I, I know what you're saying. And I've had that experience before. I will gather up my things and I'll go somewhere. That would be great. But most people, I think, would rather die than be that direct. Which, I, I, it seems that I was born without the disability of giving a fuck. Pardon my French. think maybe that's that's why I'm doing this vlog today is 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 so that all of you might take a moment and and ask yourselves how do you feel that you're fitting in <laughs> okay I made a joke I don't usually make jokes in my vlog but this made me really mad when later on the same guy did tell me he was like Barry I'm going to take you off the schedule, which also is a really passive-aggressive way of telling someone that they're fired. I, I'm going to take you off the schedule. That, that's like, it's not saying you're not going to be here anymore. It's just saying, oh, your name's not going to be on the schedule anymore. And that's, and then every week it'll be like that. <laughs> it's like, whoa, oh, wow. I'm in the city now, and I feel like I have more of an edge to me because I'm in the city. I was in, not in the city for almost all of my vlogs, and I realize that I really don't like phonies. And I think that things would be better if people weren't phony. That's not a very profound statement, but it's definitely true, and it's timely. I'm Barry, and this has been my vlog. I don't think I'm going to use a smartphone anymore.